Hey guys, this is a skier task guide for setup. For this task, you have to eliminate 15 PMCs on customs while using specific gear. So for this task, you have to go to customs wearing a Yushanka hat and scav vest and also use an MP series shotgun, which will be either the MP133, the MP153, the MP155, or the double barrel. However, besides these restrictions, you are free to use any other gear that you want as long as you use one of these four shotguns to land the kill shot on PMCs. I would recommend using a mid to high tier armor such as the Gazelle Corundra TV 110 armor attack rig for this task because they won't end up breaking your bank since all three of them have relatively good affordable barters or you can always just buy the corundra the tv 110 directly from traders and the reason for this is that people are usually quite well kitted when going to custom so it's not a bad idea to go there being able to take at least a few bullets in a fight especially if you do plan to go to dorms which will be your most pmc dense area on the map but i also have this map where i did outline most of the areas on customs where i do tend to run into pmcs however this is obviously a general generalization because we are dealing with PMC kills for this task and everyone plays the game differently so we do have to account for some unpredictability and unfortunately that also means that you can run into players everywhere on the map. However, in my experience, if you go to these spots, then your probability of running into players will definitely increase. I wish it was similar to scavs where they do have a set areas that they travel to, but unfortunately that's not the case. So of these shotguns, your two best options and the two that I'll be discussing in this guide are going to be the MP153 and the 155. But if you do want to use the double barrel or the pump action MP133 to challenge yourself or because you're a masochist, then you can definitely do that. Just in the interest of time, I'm going to be going over the two most popular. The MP153 is going to be the cheapest option for you and to run it fully kitted you're looking at a little less than 100k but you can also run it basically stock and just put a sight suppressor laser and eight round magazine on it and that won't make it any less effective but it will make it good for the wallet only costs you around 60k depending on your trader levels my biggest problem with this gun is that it has horrible ergo and it is extremely long which makes it difficult to handle the gun sometimes especially in close quarters fights which is basically what most of your shotgun engagements will hopefully be for an example when you're fighting in dorms this gun will end up getting caught on door frames walls and even on other players if they push out into you or while you're trying to push into a room after them basically the shotgun will end up folding into your pmc pointing the barrel to your left not allowing you to point fire which can definitely get you killed this shotgun also has much fewer options when modifying you do have two options for suppressors but just a heads up that if you do use the salvo suppressor and you want an hl magazine you have no choice but to use the mp133 by 8 magazine because the 153 by hl magazine is not compatible with the salvo so if you want to use that specific specific shell magazine you have no choice but to use the hexagon suppressor instead so just be aware of that and the last option the one that i used the most was the ultima build for the mp155 it is a very good all-around build and it will cost you about 130k to mod it and it is a little bit shorter than the 153 so you can use it a little bit easier in dorms or in close quarters and it still gives you an hl magazine to work with when the gun is modded in the full Ultima build, it does give you some bonuses to Ergo that are much better than the 153, and you also have the options of adding front and rear sights that both give you a plus one to Ergo for each one, as well as having the choice of which recoil pad to use to adjust it to your playstyle. And another tip that you can use on any shotgun that you may pick is that with the right attachments, you can actually use the trick with the Axion Cobra sight and the shade with it that gives you a random plus one to Ergo for having a reflex sight, where in any other instance, a scope or sight will negatively impact your Ergo. So you can put that towards any shotgun build as long as you put on the right attachments so you can mod these shotguns however you want for this task but if you guys did see my silent caliber video i pretty much mod the shotguns the same for this task as i did for that one that required a suppressor but just so that you guys can see here's the mp155 side by side with a version that has a suppressor and then also one loud that has the m claw attachment on it just so that you guys can see the difference in stats just based on one attachment change as with any gun in tarkov the ammo is king and even more so important than the build so what I typically recommend is Flechette just because of its versatility in that you can either take down heavily geared players by absolutely destroying their armor in basically two shots, or you can just focus on flesh damage and aim at their legs. Now, if you can't get your hands on Flechette or you don't want to pay the crazy price for it on the flea until you can get it unlocked by completing a task for Jaeger and unlocking him at level three, or if you do prefer to aim center mass on your target and use slugs, then AP20 is going to be your best bet since it will pen armor and do heavy damage to juiced up players. However, the big problem with ap20 is that it's not available on the flea anymore at all and you can really only find it in raid or crafted at workbench level three now if you're not a fan of either of these options for whatever reason then i do have a couple more options that are still effective but easier to get your hands on and definitely more cost efficient for you however with these benefits one negative is that you do have to be more precise in either aim for the legs or arms unless on the rare occasion that they're not wearing any armor and then you can basically fire away 
but these shells will shine when hitting non-armored parts of the body and fail really badly if you happen to shoot armor since their pen is not good whatsoever. The goal is basically to cause bleeds and to deal massive flush damage, so basically aim low. The multi-pellet shell that I would recommend for you for this is Magnum Buckshot, and then for slugs you do have a couple different options. The first being Rip Shells, and then you also have the Copper Sabot, or the Grizzly, or even the BMG Slugs as well. All of these deal a significant amount of damage as long as you have the ability to shoot the legs of your opponent routinely, then you will have good success with any of these. For this task, the absolute quickest way to get the 15 PMC kills on customs is going to be pushing the areas that I marked on the map, specifically dorms due to it being a high PVP focused area. And typically when you do go to dorms, then you will be either running into a team of chads looking to PVP or some new players that are trying to task. So typically when you rush there, you won't end up wasting a whole lot of time. You're either going to run into players and fight and win, or you will be sent back to the lobby, which in my opinion is the better outcome than running around the whole map and then dying to somebody in a bush at the extract. However, one issue with dorms, as I mentioned earlier, is the handling of the suppressed shotguns in the dorms. Since they are longer, they can pose an issue when folding in on you. So just be aware of that when taking certain engagements. If dorms isn't really working out and you want to change it up, this task doesn't really give you the luxury of going to a different map, but you can focus on pushing different areas of the map like Stronghold or Big Skelly to try your luck there instead. But just remember to try and play to the strength of a shotgun, so try and get close to your enemy before you engage them, use your grenades to reposition and push, and try not to stay out in the open for too long as you're crossing open areas of the map. Or if you do have to be out in the open, then painkiller beforehand because a shotgun is definitely not ideal to fight back against somebody at a distance when you start getting lit up by crossing a choke point. But with all that being said, just know that a lot of people do struggle with this task and it is annoying since they are giving you a disadvantage by making you run certain gear. But you can always take a break from this task and then end up coming back to it at a later date if you're getting too tilted. And honestly, just try and learn from each one of your deaths if possible for things that you could have done differently or ways that you can improve. That's one thing about Tarkov is that every death is a learning experience regardless of how frustrating that it can be. So thank you guys for making it this far into the video and hopefully you guys found this guide useful and the info as well as the clips in the background help you to get more kills towards completing this task. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or Cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day